Hey guys, welcome back. I love pumpkins and I would love to keep them out as decorations all year long. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to turn this beautiful pumpkin into this gorgeous pumpkin. So I purchased this beautiful foam pumpkin from Hobby Lobby for less than $5 on sale. These are the flowers I chose and the shades that I chose, but you can pick any flower, or any shade that you'd like. I got these from Walmart. The paint is acrylic paint and it is in metallic shades. So I'm using this round cookie cutter to trace the top of the pumpkin in order to cut it. This is a five inch uh, cookie cutter and all I'm doing is tracing around with a pencil just to kind of have an outline as to where I am going to cut. So now I have a perfect outline on top of the pumpkin. You don't necessarily need to do that step but I do recommend it just because it's easier when cutting. Um, as far as cutting, I am using a kitchen knife, but you can use anything that you feel comfortable with cutting around. It is a uh, foam pumpkin, so it's not that hard to uh, cut around. What I'm doing is just trying to find the soft spots, inserting the knife, and eventually connecting the line in order to open it. Here we go. And if there is a, a small connected spot, all you have to do is pull that. It is hollow inside. It is made out of foam, so it's not that hard to cut. So let's pull this out, here we go. So I took a two liter soda bottle, rinsed it, cut it in half, and uh, you can also just get foam and uh, hot glue that to the bottom. This doesn't fit here, so we might have to chisel that down a little bit. You can also just hot glue the uh, plastic or you can insert the foam inside the plastic and hot glue uh, both down inside the uh, pumpkin. So let's see, I think we're gonna have to just chisel this down a little bit in order to have it uh, fit inside the uh, bottle. Even though I'm tempted to honestly just hot glue the foam down inside the pumpkin and just use it uh, like that because now it fits. So now it's time to paint the pumpkin. I'm going for more of a rose gold shade, uh, not only because I love that color, but also because I intend to keep this pumpkin as decoration throughout the year in my home. So I started painting the pumpkin uh, the copper tone, and I know it looks a little gold, but um, let's see. So this is acrylic paint, and it's in metallic, and the name is New Penny, and I got this at Michael's. So I didn't really like how it looked more of a gold. So what I did uh, in order to create that rose gold color, as you can see here, I added some of the darker pink shade, again, also in metallic acrylic. And all I did was before the initial coating of this copper um, color dried, what I did, I added uh, some of the darker pink shade just over like so, and it uh, it literally just uh, blended together so this is what I'm doing now I'm just adding the pink and blending it to the not dried uh, first coat of the penny copper color so as you can see here it's turning out to be that uh, shade of rose gold pink that I originally wanted so I'm happy with this uh, shade that's turning out to be more of a pinkish rather than the copper gold or even the original orange which is still beautiful but I think um, the pink looks better as you can see here see now you can see the little bit of the um, uh, pinkish on it and here's the difference of the orange with the rose gold so maybe with the lighting you're not able to see how pink it is um, but it really is a beautiful rose gold pink so I decided not to use the the bottle I'm, I'm just gonna glue down the foam and that's just my preference you can do whatever you'd like so at this point you're just arranging and rearranging the flowers how you want them to look inside the pumpkin i wanted them to descend in height so what i did i added the green foliage uh, slightly higher than the rest of the flowers uh, followed with the pink flowers in the middle and all i did was insert them a little deeper into the foam just to give it a little layer of height the bottom ones like i showed you i just uh, folded the stem just a little bit to kind of make uh, them shorter and crowned around the pumpkin. I did add these beautiful glittered foliage just to kind of put everything together. And that's it. Here it is, this is the result. I love how it ended up looking. Uh, this is a, a piece that I'm definitely gonna keep around the rest of the year in the house. I hope you guys have fun making these yourselves and uh, creating your own masterpiece. See you guys later.